What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be covering five features to enable or use on the Buds 2 Pro to optimize your experience. Now, in order to enable these features, you're going to need your Galaxy Buds 2 Pro nearby with the case opened, and you're going to need your smartphone with the Galaxy wearable app installed. And here you can see our Galaxy Buds 2 Pro pop up on the bottom there with a notification. So recognition happens fairly quick here. Now, if your Galaxy Buds 2 Pro don't show up on this main display, we have these three lines on the display. We're going to tap on that. And you can see that we have our Buds 2 Pro. We're going to tap on that. And that's going to bring us to our settings. So what this means is you don't have to be wearing the Buds 2 Pro to enable these features. As for this video, it's featured on the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro playlist, so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And as always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. And you can find this item, related items, and items shown in this video at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So again, here we are in the app, and I'm actually using this app on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. And this phone pairs perfectly with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and also the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. In fact, if you're watching the channel, you know that I'm using all these items together. Unfortunately, I don't have the Watch 5 Pro with me. It's actually in another room, but this whole ecosystem works flawlessly together. So again, here we are in the Galaxy wearable app on the Buds 2 Pro settings page. And this app is very intuitive. Here we can access all our settings and make on the fly adjustments. So our first feature to enable or use would be the noise controls. Now, in order to make changes here, we do have to wear the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. And these go in easily and quickly. They're also really comfortable. And it's a nice snug fit. They feel very secure. They don't feel like they're going to fall out. Now, the reason I place noise controls on the top of the list is because it's a feature I use often. And I feel that anyone who's going to be watching this video, who's going to be using the Buds 2 Pro, they're going to be using this feature a lot as well. And as you may have noticed, I placed both buds in the ear. That's also a requirement for using the noise control features. You have to have both installed. You can't just use one earbud. Now the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, they look really nice. I have the graphite color option inside a VRS Design Active Fit case. And you can find this whole kit at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. That being said, I love the look of this whole kit. I am a minimalist, so everything is blacked out. The earbuds, the active fit case, and the active fit case also looks really tactical. So returning back to the noise control options, we have active noise canceling. We can actually tap on this on the app and we get a nice animation where it slides over there. And then we have off and then we have ambient sound. Now to give a brief explanation of how all of this works, off is just very neutral. It's nothing special. It does provide a good listening experience. It does the job. Now active noise canceling, it's going to block out more of that background noise. If you're talking, your voice is going to be more muffled. This is ideal for focus periods such as studying or if you're trying to do a workout. And then you have ambient sound that's going to let in more of that outside noise. If you're speaking, you're going to hear your voice much more clearly. This is ideal for situations where you want to be aware of your surroundings, such as walking on a busy road. Now, in my opinion, these options are easiest to notice a change in at lower volumes. So make sure you play with the noise controls and let us know what you think in the comments below. Now underneath this, we're going to have voice detect and 360 audio. I'm going to skip these two for the time being because I haven't had much time to experiment with them. And that brings us to our second feature, which is going to be touch controls. We're going to tap on it and that's going to open a new page. Now this page here includes several features that will dramatically improve your Buds 2 experience. So we're going to skip over the first feature, which is tap that is enabled by default and that is going to play or pause a track. So one tap will play another tap will pause. Now moving on to the next features, we have double tap, which will play the next track and triple tap, which will play the previous track. We are going to enable those features because they are going to be extremely useful. These are features that should be enabled by default, but they obviously aren't. Now this is going to prevent you from having to pull out your smartphone to actually change tracks. Now you can actually do it on the earbuds themselves by again, giving a double tap for the next track or a triple tap 
for the previous track. And then we have touch and hold and I'm going to tap on this just so we can go into this and explain what's going on here. So we have some features here for either the left or right earbud where if we press and hold, it will perform a specific function. Now, the reason I wanted to show this page is because unfortunately we don't have an option to trigger the Google Assistant. I'm hoping that will come in a future update. But as you can see, you can select an option for either the left earbud or the right earbud. So when you press and hold, that option will be performed. But this is the huge con. Again, you can't select the Google Assistant here. We can then exit out of this page by tapping on the arrow in the top left hand corner once and then twice. And then next we'll tap on earbud settings. And this brings us to our third feature, read notifications allowed, which we'll tap on. Now this opens a new page for the read notifications allowed settings and we're going to enable the feature by tapping on the slider to turn it to blue. Now the reason I selected this feature is because obviously it reads your notifications aloud. So that's going to be a highlight here. We're going to get the notifications sent directly to our earbuds. And then underneath this we have read aloud while using phone that is enabled by default. And underneath that we have apps with notifications that can be read aloud. Now this list is going to be very simple. Even if we tap on see all, we're not going to get any more options. But you can see that we have a drop down menu. If we tap on that, we have the choice to read aloud not read aloud or all. I'm going to leave it on read aloud, but it would be nice to see this list expanded with an update. We can then exit out of this page by tapping on the back arrow again once and then twice. Next, we're going to look for the option titled labs and tap on that. And that's going to open a new page. Now this brings us to our fourth option, double tap earbud edge. And I'm going to tap on the slider to enable it and that turns it blue. So I'm going to tap on this feature so that we get a little bit more information of what it does. So according to the directions here, if we double tap on that left earbud, that's going to turn the volume down. And if we double tap on the right earbud, that's going to turn the volume up. Now, based on my experience, these directions are not optimal. In fact, if you enable this feature and you try to perform it by these directions, you may find that this feature works poorly, but there's actually a tip here. So on either that left or right earbud, you wanna tap under what we call the intertragal notch about right there on either that left or right earbud to perform the function. So I'm going to do a quick test here. I'm gonna play my music. There we go. And I'm going to try to lower the volume there we go for the left side and I'm going to try to increase the volume. And then I'm going to pause the music. And the reason I wanted to show this in the video is that so you can actually see evidence here. I didn't just want to say this is how it works. It works really well and not perform a test. Now that being said, you can use this trick on the front side of your ear as we demonstrated, or you can do it on the back side of your ear about right here. And you can see that works as well. We'll do it on the left side just to demonstrate. But the key is you have to develop some kind of muscle memory in a way to remember that location to tap on and you have to tap firmly. And now that we have this feature enabled, we can exit out of the page by again, tapping on that arrow in the top left hand corner once, twice, and we're back at where we need to be. And then we're going to scroll down here until we see earbud software update. That is the fifth feature we're going to either enable or use. There's really no enabling here. It's just using, this is something everyone should be doing when they get this hardware. So we're going to tap on that feature. That's going to open a new page. And then to check for an update, we're going to just tap on download and install. And it's going to check for an update. If there is one available, it'll be downloaded. But as you can see, your software is up to date, so we don't have to worry about anything here. So we're going to back out of that page by again, tapping on the arrow in the top left hand corner. Now you can see beneath that download install option, we do have an auto update option. That's good to have. You can see the auto update is going to happen over Wi-Fi only. But if you tap on this option, you can either tap never or using Wi-Fi or mobile data. Now, the reason you still want to know how to do a manual download and install, which is that first option, is because although the auto update works well, there may be times where it doesn't do it at just the right time. So say your Galaxy Buds 2 Pro are acting up and you want to have an update. Maybe you haven't had an update in a while. That auto update might not be coming for some time. You can manually check for an update here by tapping on download and install.
We can then exit out of this page by again tapping that arrow in the top left hand corner. And that brings us back to the earbud settings page. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful worth watching and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.